dear students welcome to our channel today we are going to learn about 10th cbse science <coughs> the heading chemical reactions and equation so before we will going to learn about this chapter <coughs> we will know about some headings first one is chemical reaction what is mean by chemical reaction the next one is how to identify chemical reaction takes place whether the chemical reaction done or not how to identify then third one is chemical equation what is mean by chemical equation what are the types of chemical equation <coughs> that details we will going to learn the next one is how to balance a chemical equation whether the equation is balanced or unbalanced suppose unbalanced means how to balance a chemical equation the next one is types of chemical reaction what are the chemical reactions are there we are going to learn about that okay now first heading chemical reaction the chemical reaction means <coughs> chemical reactions are the processes in which new substances with new properties are formed one or more substance reacting together to form a new product that product entirely different from the reactant the properties of the substance entirely changed example magnesium react with oxygen burning with oxygen it will produce magnesium oxide white powdered product that is magnesium oxide compared to the product magnesium oxide to the reactant entirely different properties okay so the chemical reaction means one or more substance react together to make a new product this new product is entirely changed from the reactant side the properties also entirely changed so this is a chemical reaction
how to identify the chemical reaction takes place whether the chemical reaction is done or not how to identify the following observations help us to determine whether the chemical reaction takes place the first one is change in state suppose solid in into liquid or liquid into solid liquid to vapor solid to vapor this and all help to identify the chemical reaction is done or not next one is the change in color whether the two reactant to one or more reactant two three some reactants are react together the product side color is entirely changed then third one evolution of gas after the reaction some gases are evolved this one is also identify the chemical reaction is done or not then fourth one change in temperature suppose some reactions are the temperature will be decreased or increased this one is also help to identify the chemical reaction we will go into see some examples of the following change in state change in color evolution of gas change in temperature to determine that a chemical reaction has taken place let's perform this activity to understand we have taken lead nitrate solution in a test tube and potassium iodide solution in a conical flask add potassium iodide solution to test tube we see that the mixture produces a yellow color solution the color of potassium iodide changes upon mixing with lead nitrate signifying a chemical reaction change in color is one of the observations to determine a chemical reaction The reaction between concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated sodium hydroxide is a neutralization reaction. Let us note the room temperature. Room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Take a clean and dry beaker. and add 10 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid
to it at 10 ml of concentrated sodium hydroxide. Care should be taken while adding sodium hydroxide in drops. Stir the mixture well with the help of thermometer. Neutralization occurs resulting in the formation of salt and water. Note the temperature again. Temperature is 45 degree Celsius. Temperature increases as neutralization occurs. This is due to the fact that heat is liberated. Dear students, the next heading is chemical equations. So, what is mean by chemical equation? After completing the chemical reactions, we will write the reactant and product. So, what are the reactants involved in this reaction and what are the product we will obtain. So, we will represent by the word equation. Example. Magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen, it gets converted to magnesium oxide. This description of a chemical reaction in a sentence form is quite long. It can be written in a shorter form. The simplest way to do this is to write in the form of a word equation. So, magnesium plus oxygen, it will produce magnesium oxide. <coughs> This is a word equation. Now, what is the formula for magnesium? Mg and the oxygen is O2. So, Mg plus O2 <coughs> gives the product magnesium oxide MgO. We will use the symbols. The shortest way to represent by symbols. <coughs> so, this equation the left hand, left hand side and the right hand side. Left hand side means reactants. What are the reactants involved in this reaction? That we will write in left hand side. What are the product we obtain? That one is right hand side. Both are connected by the horizontal arrow, it means produce or gives. Both reactants combine to make to produce the product. That is why we represent horizontal arrow mark. So, LHS left hand side we will write reactants, right hand side product, horizontal arrow indicate gives or produce. Upward arrow indicate gases, whether it will form a gases. Downward arrow indicate precipitate, that means insoluble particles. Small triangle is using for the purpose of heating experiment. Whether the reaction is heating means we will put the small triangle in the upward side, upper side of the horizontal arrow. The next heading is types of chemical equations. What are the types of chemical equations are there? First one is balanced chemical equation. Second one unbalanced or skeletal equation. Okay. So, first one balanced chemical equation. What is mean by balanced chemical equation? Example, zinc reacts with hydrogen sulphate, it will produce zinc sulphate and hydrogen. Okay. This one 
ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வி லிஸ்டட் த எலமெண்ட்ஸ் ஜிங்க் ஹைட்ரஜன் சல்ஃபர் அண்ட் ஆக்சிஜன் தீஸ் ஆர் த எலமெண்ட் இன்வால்வ் இன் திஸ் ரியாக்ஷன் த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் லெஃப்ட் ஹேண்ட் சைட் ஜிங்க் இஸ் ஒன்லி ஒன் த ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் ஆல்சோ ஒன்லி ஒன் ஜிங்க் ஹைட்ரஜன் இன் த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் இஸ் டூ இந்த ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் ஆல்சோ டூ இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் சல்ஃபர் இந்த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் இஸ் ஒன் இந்த ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஆக்சிஜன் இந்த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் இஸ் ஃபோர் ஓ ஃபோர் இந்த ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் ஆல்சோ ஃபோர் ஸோ த டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஆட்டம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஈச் எலமெண்ட் இந்த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் ஸோ ஜிங்க் இஸ் ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஹைட்ரஜன் டூ இஸ் ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ டூ சல்ஃபர் ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் ஒன் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஆக்சிஜன் இஸ் ஃபோர் இன் ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் சைட் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் ஸோ த டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஆட்டம்ஸ் ஃபார் ஈச் எலமெண்ட் இன் த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் ஆர் ஈக்குவல் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் பேலன்ஸ்டு த டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் மீன்ஸ் திக்ஸ் ரியாக்ஷன் இஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் பேலன்ஸ்டு ஈக்குவேஷன் திஸ் ஈக்குவேஷன் இஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் பேலன்ஸ்டு ஈக்குவேஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் அன்பேலன்ஸ்டு ஆர் ஸ்கெலிட்டல் ஈக்குவேஷன் அன்பேலன்ஸ்டு ஆர் ஸ்கெலிட்டல் ஈக்குவேஷன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அயன் ரியாக்ட் வித் வாட்டர் இட் வில் ப்ரொடியூஸ் அயன் ஆக்சைட் அண்ட் ஹைட்ரஜன் அயன் ஆக்சைட் அண்ட் ஹைட்ரஜன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி லிஸ்டட் த எலமெண்ட்ஸ் இந்த ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் சைட் அயன் ஹைட்ரஜன் அண்டு ஆக்சிஜன் ஸோ அயன் in the reactant side is 1 the product side is 3 fe3 so the product side is 3 hydrogen in reactant side is 2 the product side also 2 oxygen in the reactant side is 1 the product side is 4 so the, the elements of iron and oxygen the reactant and the product side is not equal because the iron is 1 in the reactant side the product side is 3 so not equal and the oxygen is 1 in the reactant side 4 in the product side are not equal so this is unbalanced because equal means balanced here unbalanced not equal so this equation is known as unbalanced equation or skeletal equation okay balancing chemical equations so how to balance a chemical equation before we will balancing a chemical equation first of all we will put the box in each reactant and the product side because you don't write the any number inside the box okay so we will put the box here i am taking iron react with water to produce iron oxide and hydrogen already you know that this reaction is this equation is unbalanced so the iron one in the reactant side three in the product side hydrogen only two to same equal oxygen in one in the reactant side four in the product side so it is a unbalanced equation so we will going to balance the equation first of all select the maximum number of atoms the reactant or product any one side which element containing maximum atom here i select oxygen because it is the product side is 4 reactant side is 
so we select oxygen left hand side h2o oxygen in the form of water h2o here only one oxygen the product side iron oxide here four oxygen left hand side one oxygen right hand side product side four oxygen so we will use the number 4 for multiplying 14 is 4 so we will write the number in front of the formula 4 h2o now oxygen in the reactant side is 4 the product side also 4 okay but we cannot alter the formula of the compounds or elements we don't alter the formula isn't it because the formula will be changed means the product also entirely changed so you don't alter the formula of compound or element the next to balance oxygen atoms we can put coefficient 4 that means you will write the number in front of the compound and not write to h2o4 in, but you, you will write in front of the compound 4 h2o is correct and don't write h2o4 entirely wrong so you will uh, remain it don't write the number inside the box you will write the number in front of the compound okay after balancing balancing oxygen atom now we will going to balancing hydrogen the hydrogen in the form of water the reactant side 4 h2o the product side h2 the reactant side 4 to 4 8 hydrogen is there and the product side is only 2 hydrogen so we will equalize to 8 in the product side so you will multiply by 4 4 to 4 8 in the product side both the hydrogen the reactant and product side also equal you will multiply by 4 in the product side 4 to 4 8 already in 8 in the reactant side now equal okay so fe plus 4h2o produce fe3o4 plus 4h2 so hydrogen is also equal the next one balancing iron left hand side only one iron the right hand side is fe3o4 there is three iron element in the product side the left hand side is only one so we will going to multiply by 3 in the reactant side 1 3 is 3 3 iron right hand side also 3 now equal so we will write the number in front of the reactant and the product side before we will write the number put the box 3 fe plus 4 h2o gives fe 3o4 plus 4 h2o h2 now all the elements in the reactant and the product side is equal hence this equation is balanced because the reactant side 3 fe the product side also fe3 same equal the reactant side 4h2 4 to 4 8 eight hydrogen the product side also 4h2 4 to 4 8 hydrogen the reactant side 4 oxygen 4 into 1 4 oxygen the product side also o4 4 oxygen hence the equation is balanced all are understand